President Donald Trump just hammered Vladimir Putin, Bashar al-Assad, and Iran for the recent horrific chemical attacks in Syria with a brutal warning. You won't want to miss this. According to Fox News, Trump recently told the National Security Council that he would like to see all you. As troops withdrawn from Syria within six months and just days later, reports broke out that Syrian President Bashar al-Assad had his military carry out horrific chemical attacks on innocent civilians. On Sunday, April 8, 2018, Trump lashed out on Twitter in response to the suspected chemical attack in the Syrian city of Dauma. The president directly blamed Assad and blasted Russian President Vladimir Putin, in addition to Iran, for supporting Assad. Trump's brutal warning for Assad and his international allies was sent out on Twitter. Many dead, including women and children, in mindless chemical attack in Syria. Area of atrocity is in lockdown and encircled by Syrian army, making it completely inaccessible to outside world. President Putin Russia and Iran are responsible for backing animal Assad. Big price to pay. Open area immediately for medical help and verification. Another humanitarian disaster for no reason whatsoever. Sick. Trump wrote in two consecutive tweets. In a brutal, Follow up to his warning, Trump blasted former President Barack Obama for his colossal failure to deal with Assad when he had the chance. If President Obama had crossed his stated red line in the sand, the Syrian disaster would have ended long ago. Animal Assad would have been history. Trump added. Reports of the chemical attack began coming from Syrian opposition activists and rescuers who claimed that a poison gas attack on the rebel-held town of Dauma near the capital of Damascus killed approximately 40 people. The Syrian and Russian governments have completely denied the alleged attack and the claims that Syrian forces directly targeted civilians and young children could not be independently confirmed. Many Americans praised Trump for ordering missile strikes on a Syrian airbase almost exactly a year earlier after the Assad regime used chemical weapons to murder innocent civilians on April 4, 2017. Sarah Huckabee Sanders, the White House press secretary, recently spoke about the chemical attack in 2017. The women, children, and men who died at the hands of the Assad regime on April 4, 2017, deserve justice and we will not rest until the regime is held accountable. We expect all parties involved to live up to their promise in 2013 and to ensure that the Assad regime stops its senseless use of chemical weapons against the Syrian people, Sanders said in a recent statement, according to Daily Caller. After the recent chemical attacks, first responders claim they found families suffocated in their homes and shelters with foam on their mouths. The Syrian Civil Defense, an organization linked to forces opposing the Assad regime, claimed that 42 fatalities were confirmed so far but were kept from any further searching due to difficulty breathing, according to Siraj Mohammed, a spokesman for the group which is known as the White Helmets. President Donald Trump is not playing around with Assad and will be sending a strong message very soon in retaliation for the chemical attacks on civilians. While many don't see it necessary for America to police the rest of the world, the immediate answer to the ongoing civil war in Syria cannot be to simply withdraw and take no action at all. That kind of thinking and idiotic foreign policy is what lead to the creation of ISIS in the first place, and we have Barack Obama to thank for that mess. There is a real crisis in Syria that we cannot ignore.
both Russia and Iran would quickly take advantage of the situation beyond what they have so far if President Trump decided not to respond as he's promised to. So, let's hope Assad pays a big price for what he's done.